So I went ahead and wandered around like an absolute lemming for a while before I realized that uh, all what I had to do was tinker with this pillar. At the next tower. Look at that phallic symbol in the distance. Ooh, pretty. Hey, we can follow the beam to find the next tower. Why follow it when we can dance after it? Okay, I'm not. I'm not really entirely sure. What the deuce I'm meant to be doing exactly? Hmm. This confuses me. I guess maybe I need some blue eco. And then I do believe I have some sort of theory that I need to prove or disprove. Whichever comes first. Bum, 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 da da. Well, that's my theory. Blown to shit. Blew out of the water and then got stomped all over. Okay. So I went into that door earlier. I think there was a. I think there was a power cell in there. I'm not actually sure. I think there might have been. Anyways, needless to say, I'm completely flumped. What the hell am I meant to do? Hello everyone and welcome back to Jack and Daxter. All right, so um, recap. I was doing the. Uh, I was connecting the eco beams. That was it. That was what I was doing. Um, so let's get back to that. Um, I, yeah, I pretty much I got the first eco beam. I, I did the first pillar, and um, then I went to bed because it was like 1 a.m. and uh, I got home from work and I uh, showered and everything. And then I just first thing I did because it was the first chance I've had in the last week and a half. Hello, Jungle Book Snake. How you doing? It's the first chance I had in a week and a half to actually record videos. So um, I set up extra late for you guys, despite being absolutely shattered. My commentary might not have been the best. I might not have, might not have been the wittiest, but um. I assure you, it's just because I was tired. Oh, oh bugger. Snappy little bastard, isn't he? But, um, yeah, anyway, welcome back. We're going to connect the eco beams. And, uh, <laughs> oh, right in the face. And <laughs> whack him one, too. So, we got that one over there. I'm just going to hit this. I do believe the next eco beam. So, it confused me last night, but it came to me in a dream. It came to me in a vision, what I meant to do. Sort of. Yeah, so the beam is going that way into the... Oh, right, there you go, this top of it. That's what confused me, the trees were blocking it. It blends in, it's like the perfect camouflage. Ah, there we go. Hello, Stumpy. Oh, crap. Yeah. Get my shoes all wet. Getting water all over my foot. I can't believe that snake freaked me out before. He's a pussycat. Alright, so I just want to get... Twist this. Give it your old twister root. Okay, so... Oh, there we go. That's a pretty blue aura. Let's go to the next tower and reconnect the beam there! Good idea. Now rephrase it like it was my idea. <laughs> That's what I say to Jess all the time. Anytime she comes up with a good idea, I always ask her to rephrase it like I came up with it. Okay. I can't really see where the beam is going through the trees. Oh, oh, careful. <laughs> Smooth. And kill the snake. See, I've improved my game a little bit. Slightly. Marginally. Kind of. Also, Crumb96, I promise you, I will get to that fisherman. Just <laughs> just bear with me. <laughs> Let me get these eco beams connected and then we will track him down. Okay. Quite sure what it is. Well, I know what I'm looking for. I just don't really know where it is. I'm sure it's somewhere very obvious. It's probably been right in front of me for the last while now. <laughs> hmm. That's a tree. That kind of looks like a face on the temple. More trees. Swinging log. Tree line. Tree line. Tree bark. Has anybody seen my intelligence? I can't remember what I did with it. Not my sense of perception. Um, so beam goes from there. The first one. Shoots on. Hang on. I gotta get to some higher ground. If I get to higher ground, I might know what I'm aiming for. Alright, so beam goes there. Beam goes across to... Oh! Oh, okay. Beam was in a very obvious spot. My bad, my bad. I was just doing that to build suspense. That's, that's all I was doing. I, that's <laughs> I'm a master of suspense. I'm like Alfred Hitchcock. Oh, there we go. 
So pretty. It's like fireworks. Alright. I don't know how many more of these we have to do. I could have sworn it was, you know, I, I'd, I'd assumed it was three. <laughs> I don't know why. I just, in games like this, things tend to come in threes. Alright, so that's where I need to get to. Oh, can I make it? Can I make it? And he screws it up spectacularly. He doesn't make it. Oh, God. Ow! That was just embarrassing. Thank God I had the, the green orbs to heal, but... <laughs> fish just bit me on the ass. Not really the way... It's not a dignified death. If I had died there, there's no way it would have been dignified. Ah, we got some precursor orbs. Smashing, old chap. Positively smashing. Alright. Free Tromopoline! Oh, missed it. Ah, <laughs> screw it, I'll just climb. It's less fun, but you know what? The workout is good. It'll do me the good. Some of this. Some of that. Some bogeys. <laughs> bogey is a funny word. <laughs> Not even so much what it is, just the word itself, bogey, is funny. Anytime I'm watching golf and someone gets a bogey, I always giggle. I don't feel like a mature adult when I do, but, you know, I'm not proud that I giggle at it. I just can't control myself. Oh, you damn frog! Alrighty. This will hopefully be our last, or maybe second last one. I'm hoping second last. Well, actually, I'm hoping last. Let's see now. Hmm, where'd it go? Oh, there we go. Ain't that a pretty blue hue? Alright, everyone to the beach! Oh. <laughs> I didn't even mean that. <laughs> that was my plan. I haven't done it for a long, long time, but uh, I'll get around to it in a moment. What the fisherman is doing in this place is beyond me. It's not a safe place. What sort of man he is? Some sort of glutton for punishment, anyway. Alright, seeing as this is on the beach and right next to the village, this has got to be our last one. What am I aiming it for? There we go. Look at that. I did that, you know, all by myself. Ain't it pretty? We should go tell that windbag of a mayor that he owes us big time for connecting the village energy beam. We should, but he's a complete sleazeball. I really don't trust the guy. You never trust a politician. Um, Alright. I think what I want to do next is hop up here. And we got an oracle to pay a visit to. Yeah, if I remember correctly. Oh! Ah! Oh, the rage! <laughs> I never really screwed up the first one. This is new to me. Hang on, get this. Oh. No! What is this feeling of inner failure that I'm feeling right now? <laughs> I'm not used to this feeling. Okay. We're getting it this time. Oh. But then apparently I'm a liar. Ah, I've got a good feeling about the next three attempts, though. God, I hope there's not going to be three attempts. Right, we can do it this time. I just need to... Careful. Um, yes! There we go. Okay. Oh, crap. I thought I was going to screw that one up. And there we go. Alright, you creepy-voiced oracle. You don't like me, and I'm indifferent to you. 120 precursor orbs, and I will award you a power cell. 120? What? Ah, oh, be cool. You know I'm good for the rest. Come on. It's only 23 orbs. You can let that slide. Jeez. You think with him being an immortal being and everything, he wouldn't really mind waiting a few days to get the orbs, but no. <laughs> it's greed like that that's, that's destroying the economy. That's actually probably why the precursors were wiped out in the first place. It wasn't the poison water. They went into recession because of their greed. That's what killed them. Hey there. Oh, what a wonderful sight! I thank you! And the entire village will thank me. Uh, boys, you have restored power to the village and guaranteed my re-election. And for that, my boy, you earned a power cell. 
And this is what we in the business call epic pose time. Booyah. Okay. Now that our shady dealings with the mayor here are over. <laughs> you don't like that guy. I'm just going to leave him to it. Don't like people taking credit for my work. Alright, so we got one more to get. And that's to bring the 120 orbs to the oracle. Can't do nothing about that right now. So, Crumb96, the time has come. I'm going back to the Forbidden Jungle, and the only thing I'm going there to do is to find that fisherman. At long last. It's only taken me like... I don't know, looking at time-wise, this is probably going to be like part 16 or something. Somewhere between 14 and 16. Uh... <laughs> yeah, I got there eventually. I'm just gonna jump up here. Now, I've got absolutely no idea whereabouts I'm gonna find this guy. But, um... I'm kinda like a blood... actually, not like a bloodhound at all. <laughs> you could give me a map and clearly mark what I'm looking for, and I still won't find the guy. Anyway, can't hurt to have some. Okay. So yeah, like I said, I've got absolutely no clue where to go, but we'll find him. We'll get there eventually. Up we go. And dive roll. 